the Salt Lake, cops who had searched Bundy's apartment, one of the things the cops found was Bundy's credit card receipts. And when they ran those credit card receipts, they found that a killing with Karen Campbell near Aspen, Bundy had purchased gas at the same time. Bundy would drive two, three, four hundred miles, leaving a trail of gas receipts to be detected later on. I looked at him when I saw the very first card on top. It was, there it is. The credit cards showed us a real pattern of his driving. This has really given me something to definitively be able to get him in or out of this case. And it put him in it. Theodore Bundy is in Colorado tonight where he will stand trial for first degree murder. Bundy is accused of killing Karen Campbell of Dearborn, Michigan. She was vacationing in Aspen at the time of her death in 1974. We drove up to Glenwood Springs to interview Ted. And halfway up, we called the station to check in and my news director said, Ted just called, he wants to cancel the interview. And we were, I don't know where we were. And so I picked, went to a payphone, called Ted at the jail. I said, Ted, we're, we're halfway up here. You can't, oh, okay, come on up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on, guys. We knew he had a scoop. I mean, he did not let anyone else interview him, so that was a big deal. He had been in the Utah State Prison for the kidnapping of Carol Durange, so he went from this highly guarded prison to this country jail. I mean, if you look at the footage and see what it was like, we were shocked. We were shocked. First of all, I guess I should just ask, how are you doing up here? So, so short question, is there a long answer? Uh, I'm doing well, I feel good, yeah. working hard on my case. There were so many different personalities that I saw, the winking and being the charismatic Ted and, you know, on, be on my side. And I'm not the Bundy monster that everyone's saying I am. I knew what he was trying to do, he was trying to work me. There's always one thing that amazed me, as you know, I covered your trial. When the judge found you guilty of uh, second degree kidnapping, you never showed any emotion. Yeah. And for somebody who believes he is so innocent, why was there no emotion? People say, Ted Bundy didn't show any emotion. There must be something in there. I showed emotion, you know what people said? See, he really can't get violent and angry. I look back on that interview, which was 40 years ago, and I'm a little angry at myself because I find myself smiling at him. And I was doing that to try to get into his graces, to try to get some information out. The little bit that I did push, and he started pounding his chest that I'm not the Bundy monster. I mean, that's how defensive he was. When we left, I knew it was empty, but we'd still gotten the interview. Convicted kidnapper Ted Bundy was in Aspen arguing a motion relating to a first-degree murder trial. The former University of Utah law student is defending himself on charges he killed Karen Campbell. We had a very attentive clerk of the court. She came to us. She said, he's going to escape, and I know how he's going to do it. Bundy would always approach her about doing Xerox. And the Xerox was located in front of a window, and he would always look up and down the back of the courthouse. We went right to the sheriff's office with it, and um, we told them about him. This is the plan, and he's got to be watched. He's gonna go. During a recess in the hearing, Bundy was allowed to go to the law library at the rear of the courtroom on the second floor of the Pitkin County Courthouse. There, the unwatched, uncuffed Bundy went to the window and leapt two stories to freedom. They just weren't doing their job. Bundy came here Wednesday after spending a miserable night in the rain. Then last night, Bundy said he walked into Aspen, took this car, which was unlocked and had the keys in the ignition. That's when Bundy was apprehended. Hi, Ted. How are you doing? Good, how are you? Uh, here. 